in kindergarten. So this little, little Alamo, this little guy. We were, we were putting beans, little black beans. This was a class assignment. Little black beans in sets, right? They put 10 beans there and they say, make two sets of five. Make five sets of two. And for whatever reason, I either didn't understand it, I w it wasn't explained right, or maybe I just couldn't grasp what they were talking about. I couldn't figure this out at four or five years old. And so the teacher made a big deal about it, embarrassed me, called home, probably to try to help. But the way it was done was in a way where I was like, man, I am the dumbest kid at math. I am terrible at math. I don't, how do I not get this? And so I took that story home with me and guess what happened in first grade and second grade and third grade and fourth grade. Every time there was something difficult in math, I would tell myself, well, I guess that's true. I guess I'm not good at math when it was just that it was difficult and I had to spend a second looking at it. Because as I went through my entire life into my young adulthood, into my adulthood, I continued thinking, hey, man, I'm not good at math. I didn't, I didn't apply myself because I didn't feel like I was good. So then a couple of years ago, a lot of you guys trust me and you listen to me and you like the way I teach. So guys came to me and said, coach, will you do an SAT workshop for us? I need your help. We need to get this thing up. So I, I took some of our baseball players. I started doing an SAT workshop. Well, I'm really good at reading, but we started to get to the math section. They're like, coach, show us. So I started to get into this stuff. All of a sudden, I started looking at it with a different set of eyes. I'm like, what is this? What is this? What is this? I was able to start doing all of those things. I was able to start teaching them. I was helping guys who were in the difficult math classes, helping them do complicated problems, things that were pre-calculus and calculus. And I was learning it and I was able to, to see it and understand it. And it hit me in that moment. It was all BS. The story I told myself at four and five wasn't true because I couldn't understand one concept because it wasn't explained right or I didn't understand it then, didn't mean that I wasn't talented or good at math. But for the Latin next 15, 20, 25 years, I told myself, you're not good, you're not good, you're not good. And I put a cap on myself and I limited myself and I cheated myself. And there are things like that that are happening to you right now. You just need to figure out what they are because every one of us has something like this. And as your story changes, I'm going to give you examples that relate to you guys. But as your story changes, as, you're, as, you're, as you grow bigger and stronger, the things you think about have to start to change. You're not the old you.